Hey guys, back in the shop. Uh, issue with the uh, bridge port. I was uh, working on it last week, some more. Um, I I really haven't gotten this bridge port running. Um, was working on uh, cleaning it up. Was also working on uh, getting rid of the old power feed that was on there because I really didn't care for it. Uh, and, and you know basically getting set up it's it's uh, in its home position now where it's going to stay but uh, what I was having some troubles with or just oddities was with the, uh, the not the braking system but the shifting between the uh, I guess that's the high and low um, and what had happened was someone had put the shim here and it I don't know it really didn't it really didn't fit right somehow but they got it in there and then they put that that other piece on top of it which at this very second I don't know where it went but uh, long story short um, the whole spindle is locked up now I took it apart and and I don't know if uh, something wasn't just seated in there properly uh, I do when I did take it apart I had to uh, I had to pull these screws off and I think this holds the brake assembly on and if I look at my 56 mil these screws are like uh, protruding quite a bit more than they are on this mill so I think maybe it, it dropped in there and it got froze up um, but now that I have my electric done so I need to do some jobs on my rotary table and I figured I'd just set this mill up because it's got the smaller 36 inch table I just kind of figured I'd set it up, uh, you know, t to be with a small vise and the rotary table. So, you know, just think, I mean, setup is, is nine tenths of the job. So if you spend an hour setting it up and you have to break it down and re-indicate everything. And so if I can leave it like that and make it dedicated, I thought that'd be a great, a great idea. So anyway, getting back to this. It's locked up. I've already taken the motor off, which was only two bolts. And, and of course, I unplugged it before I took the motor off. Um, heaven forbid it gets turned on somehow. So let's go ahead and let's pull the uh, this top piece off, or at least this aluminum part, and see what's going on in here. swivel extension or not so much a swivel but one that uh, kind of gives you you can angle it a little bit guys think about these belt guards I don't really care for belt guards I'm not sticking my fingers up there when the thing is on and there's really no little kids in this in the workshop and even if there was they wouldn't be tall enough to reach it so thoughts on belt guards leave them in your comments One of those days today where it's cool outside but it's hot in the shop. 
and I would like to turn the fan on but I just don't want to make any ambient noise during the video I think there's a couple locator pins on this piece as well. So I'm curious as to how much trouble it's gonna give me to knock them off, knock it, knock it off the top. But we shall see. All right, guys, we've got all the bolts out. Um, she's on there, though, so I'm going to wrap it with my plastic mallet, my rubber mallet. Oh, and that's all it took, just a couple little taps. There's about 40 pounds of crud in here, which I guess I shouldn't expect at anything else. There we go. All right. Not too bad. Let's see what's going on here. That is a greasy mess. Smells a sit 1966, so and look at that. It just it just works now. It spins free. I guess maybe it was just caught between the upper and lower somehow. But yeah, she spins nice. Huh. Very interesting. Okay, I'm going to get this aluminum head up on the table. I'm going to get, grab a piece of wood. Uh, so, not, not to damage my table. Well, guys. Um, the top is off. And uh, boy, there's a bunch of schmoo in there. And uh, let me say, isopropyl alcohol. Now you can get the real expensive one. There's some people I know that just use really, really super expensive isopropyl alcohol. And I want to add that that's a good thing. Uh, but in this particular instance, um, not doing anything super precise, super precision. I'm just cleaning a lot of schmoo. 91% is fine. And this is the value size, Walgreens. It's uh, one quart and it's only $3 compared to the 99%, which I do have, but I'm saving it for a special occasion. And uh, boy, let me tell you, I wish I had a parts cleaner right now, or at least a big tank of uh, a kerosene to soak this in, because not only is this piece uh, crusted up, let me just move the camera here. See if I can move the camera. This uh, the head itself is is loaded with it. 
so that's uh you know I started cleaning already but that's you know 40 50 years of gunk God only knows if they've ever cleaned it or not uh, so we're gonna I'm not gonna make you suffer through this I'm gonna clean it and then we'll see what's going on with this I guess this is the brake assembly with these three screws I mean the brake works the springs in there I see it's functioning but uh, why this wasn't in all the way and why these screws aren't there's some space in here so I don't know what's going on here but I'm gonna take this whole thing apart let me clean it first and then you could see just just by just touching it and then I'm gonna I'll bring the camera back in so you guys could check it out all right guys so uh, I wanted to go handheld here real fast uh, obviously those are the the screws that held the uh, the J head on or the aluminum portion of the upper body of the uh, the pulley system on but you're gonna see here you're gonna see um, see these four screws I believe they're brake screws and I actually found them laying inside the top of the pulley I'm gonna climb the ladder and we're gonna go and show you they were actually laying down here inside this pulley so I guess that could have been a good reason why the thing was locking up. Uh, I cleaned up the flange. Well, I cleaned up the whole area. But I cleaned up the flange and around the key points or the, uh, the locator pins as best as I could. And I got as much schmoo off of there as I could. And if I was Mr. Pete, I would probably say my wife's wondered where her good towels went. So anyway, um, I guess at this point, I'm going to put you back on the, uh, the uh, what do you call it, the A-frame for the camera, or the regular camera. We're going to go and try to uh, reassemble. Well, actually, no. We're not going to reassemble it yet. We're going to go ahead and look at the actual brake itself. Uh, one more thing I want to mention. I'm not sure if this uh, assembly is supposed to come off of the aluminum part or whether it's supposed to stay with the aluminum part. So, uh, and, and I don't really know why, if you could see here, there's, there's actually two holes, which are probably maybe 20 degrees apart from uh, each other. Now, there's, there's actually, uh, I'm going to take you over here to the 56. There's actually uh, these, it's very sunny here in the shop today. There's actually these, uh, these uh, cutoff screws that you adjust. I guess the high low and the whole head runs on those I don't know why there's and it doesn't look like there's two of them on this machine well no I wouldn't be able to see that's actually inside this where I'm looking at is inside this flange it's in here and I can't see that so it's gonna be a little trial and error I'll probably just uh, copy the way this one looks as far as where the lever is and see if that works when I put it back together. Okay guys. Uh, so we have the bridge port just about back together. Um, again what I did was I found old springs in there. Actually this I just found this on the table as well. Some kind of shim why I don't know it's like actually an old school nameplate from something I'll have to clean that off and see what that says later but what I'm gonna do now uh, I'm just gonna put a couple of these screws back in I actually had a, a, a new belt so that was that was a good thing I didn't have the uh, the tooth belt but I had the V belt for the motor so I'm going to go ahead and just put two of these uh, these screws in loosely. Um, then I'm going to pop the motor on and see how she functions. Uh, I used a little some of my special oil. I think that's in the frame there. You can see it. Yeah, um, just to lubricate some of the parts very fine I noticed this this is working properly now but sometimes when it gets to the upper position and I bring it back down 
the, 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 the assembly, the shiv is not falling back down. I don't know if there was supposed to be a spring in there. I don't think so. But anyway, just pop it down with my finger. I've lubricated it. Hopefully the lubrication will work in there. We'll see how it operates. Uh, at this point, this thing's a, a joy to take apart. It wasn't very difficult at all. So I don't think uh, it wouldn't bother me if I had to take it back apart again. Um, again, I cleaned it as best I could for the moment. Uh, eventually, I would like to disassemble the whole thing and clean it. Possibly uh, check the bearings on the head, the spindle bearings. Um, that obviously will be a job for another day. So uh, I'm going to go ahead right now and put the motor back on. And then we're going to fire it up and see how it works. All right, guys, here we go. Brake works. Looks like everything's functioning. Uh, let's see, we could get it down to 660 RPMs. Change this belt around. Sorry for my headshot there. It's a little stiff, it's new. Okay, we're on a kick rock slower pulley. Perfect. All right, guys, I guess this concludes our little bridge for repair. Thanks for sticking with me. I'll be making more videos in the near future because i got a lot more stuff to do. So I hope you guys are having a great day, and uh, we'll see you again soon. This is Joe from Raptor, out. Hey, guys, I just wanted to give you one more shot of the bridge for it. Uh, I did show you, see, I tightened everything up some schmoo is starting to squish out of them holes but anyway I uh, tightened everything up ran it for a while retightened everything because I uh, wanted everything to seat in properly and I just wanted to also show you now we have a uh, I forgot to show you before we have the mill in back here still super quiet for being in back here so uh, I think this uh, video has been a success and I hope I'm gonna get some good use out of her. And I'm sure that new belt doesn't uh, hurt anything either. The belt probably helps. Brake works, so we're good to go. So again, guys, thanks, have a good weekend.